Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott. I was delighted when my friends from Bristol Hustle asked me to make a video about this Coffee Footprint Analyzer. This is a free open source app that you can download from the URL provided in the video. What are we trying to do? We all want to save the planet and if we're coffee drinkers we want to make sure that our coffee drinking footprint is as small as possible. So what can we as individuals or the industry do to reduce the coffee footprint? Well, we need some facts and we need a model. But typically, the facts on the model will be fixed in some academic paper. Indeed, these facts came from a wonderful paper and you can't do anything about it. You might disagree with many of the assumptions or you want to play with some of the inputs and outputs, but you can't. Well, this analyzer allows you to do it. Not only that, you can create your own versions of the model and we can compare them side by side. So let's see what's going on. The first thing to say is don't panic. Here's the model. With my mouse, I can zoom in, I can pan around, I can do all sorts of things. So it's user friendly in terms of seeing what's going on. Now let's see what we have in it. The big thing in yellow is total. We're interested in this app on our carbon dioxide footprint. So that's kilograms of carbon dioxide per kilogram of coffee. We could have other metrics like water use or land use, fertilizer use, but in this case, we're interested in CO2 footprint. And this total comes from a number of sources. First of all, it comes from production. Production is based on fertilizer, CO2 from the organic waste created as part of the process, and from the infrastructure needed to farm the coffee. There's CO2 from transport, by land transport or by sea transport. And then there's CO2 from the overall consumption, which depends on packaging, grinding, distribution, roasting, and disposal of the waste. And, very importantly, on the brewing of the coffee. If we look at the figures, these are academic figures from the original paper, then we find of the 4.8 kilograms of CO2 per kilogram of coffee, rather little comes from transport, and in green things usually transport is fairly irrelevant. 1.5 comes from production, fair enough, but most comes from consumption. So we are the ones responsible for this, not the growers or the transporters. And of this, roasting is 0.19, grinding is 0.29, surprising, packaging is 0.13, but by far the most significant is the brewing. It's a CO2 generated when we create the energy to heat the water. So if you want to reduce your footprint, spend less time worrying about these other things and focus more on where your energy comes from to do the brewing and how efficient it is. But before we get to that in detail, let's explore the model a bit more. Let me just zoom out a bit. Let's say we disagree with this fertilizer input. So let's zoom in on it so we can see a bit more. And we click on it. And at the moment it's saying we think it's 0.96 kgs per kg. If we think the fertilizer is more evil than that, we increase that number. So we then see that the production number increases and the total number increases. So whenever you change any of these things, you see how it goes throughout the whole network. If we want a visual impact to this, we select variable node size. And now when we change the size of this, it gets smaller or larger than the uh, default. So we're saying we think the fertilizer cost is more, um, organic waste we think is smaller. So we click on that. How can all organic waste be anything other than good? And then when we come to brewing, we say, well, I'm going to be much more efficient. I have a new technology, so I will increase that to 78%. So now our consumption cost has gone down and now it's merely half of the whole thing and our production cost is more significant. So what are the correct answers? I don't know. All I'm doing is creating a model based on some academic literature and then it's up to you to work out 
your version of this. Now you can do it all with this particular model. Suppose you wanted to create your own model. You think I'm missing out some important factors, for example. Well, you click Copy Model, and it's captured to the clipboard. You then open Excel, and you do Paste, and there's the model in Excel CSV format. We'll do another video on how you take one of these models and change it, but all I'm saying is that we have this model. I can save it as a new uh, CSV file and load it into the app and play with it as I wish. So we have a model which is dynamic, a model where you can play around with all the assumptions where you see everything which is going on. As you move over, it tells you what's going on. It tells you the formula which is being used. So you always see the information behind it all. We can copy these models and make our own versions. What's not to like? So please play with the model and then let the Barista Hustle people know your views about the best way to reduce your coffee footprint. Thank you.